Welcome to Intersoft Solutions tutorial video. This video will show you how to create simple website navigation by adding a new page that shows the contact list, and create a navigation button to facilitate navigation to the contact page. This tutorial video will be divided into two parts. The first part describes how to create a new client UI application using the project template in Visual Studio. You will also learn how to add the required data and resources to the project. The second part describes about how to create a simple navigation application using client UI navigation framework. You will learn how to add a new page that shows the contact list using MVVM pattern. Alright, now let's start Visual Studio 2010. Create a new project by choosing the file menu, then select new project. Choose Intersoft Client UI Advanced Navigation Application Template. Name it Create Basic Nav MVVM. Click OK button to create the project. In the new Silverlight application dialog box, click the OK button to host the application in a new website. Here is our new navigation project in Visual Studio. Let's take a look at the files included in the project template. The Client UI Advanced Navigation Application template contains references to several Client UI assemblies such as the Framework Assembly, Aqua, controls and so on. In addition, the project also includes some pages such as Home, Customers, and Products. You can navigate to these pages using the predefined navigation button declared in the main page XAML. The main page XAML is the root visual of the application. It includes the UX frame that serves as the navigation frame to facilitate the page navigation. Notice that the UX frame already includes mapping for the error page as well as user-friendly mapping definition. And here is the result when you run the project. Now, Let's add resources to the project. In this walkthrough, we are going to use several resources from client UI samples such as contact data source XML, photo and icon images, model base class, and view model base class. Let's start by right click on the Silverlight project to add data folder. Then, add contact data source XML to the data folder since we are going to use it as the contacts data. The XMLs file can be found in Intersoft Client UI Samples. Open the XMLs property window and set the build action to resource. After that, go to the Images folder which located in Assets folder. And Add Photos folder. Next. We are going to add photos images for our contact. The photo images can be found in Intersoft Client UI Samples. We also need icon image for the website, blog and Twitter. So let's create an icons folder and add the icons images into the assets folder. The icons images can be found in Intersoft Client UI Contact MVVM sample. OK, now that we have added the data, photos and icons images. Let's move on to add model base and view model base class. Both of the file can be found in Intersoft Client UI samples. Let's add a new model base class file to the models folder and also add view models class file to the view models folder in this tutorial we are going to use model base class as the base class for contact model and view model base class as the base class for contact and contact list view model
For your information, model base class implements a notify property change which is one of the fundamental interfaces in Silverlight or WPF. It enables the binding engine to perform two-way data binding. Two-way binding ensures automatic data synchronization between the UI control and the objects. This means that any changes in object will be reflected to the UI in the other way around. Model base class implements the iData error interface to provide built-in error validation that generally notifies an error to the binding engine. As for view model base class, it only implement iNotify property change interface. Finally, we are going to add system XML link queue assembly as the Silverlight project's reference. The XML link queue is required to perform link queue query to XML data. We are done with the project preparation. In the next series of the video tutorial, we will learn how to create a simple navigation application using client UI navigation framework and create a new page that shows the contact list using MVVM pattern.